today i'm going to show you how to share nfs first uh, install to the net virtual machine or uh, select the enterprise click next uh, here for virtual for naming purpose i am creating as a for nfs so 40 gb is enough click next so click next so the virtual uh, machine is uh, installed in five minutes i am just speeding up the process vmware tools is automatically get installed so now to the net machine is ready for nfs go to nsel and the give the ip address which is suitable to join under the active directory i have i have the active directory under 10 series i am giving the ip address and the de de default gateway of active directory and dns of the active, comes under active directory okay click the roles add roles click next click file server click next and select the file server manager click next finish so finish okay again select the add roles now active to select add install active directory domain services click next next finish now go to the random brand run dc promo so click next next exit directory then next here type your domain and click set after that and type the administration credential of your domain click next 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 just just uh, click next it just to become a adc like type click next after finishing this go to command prompt and click s and type net of accounts select the root password the password click next finish now we are this become is becoming as a ADC type which is suitable to install NFS so we are providing NFS to the ESXi right so we need to have Unix management and for that we need to restart uh, after applying ADDC so we successfully restarted go to service manager under active directory domain services we have identity management for unix click select that add roles and select the identity manager for unix click next next finish and restart the pc once again and re i'm restarting okay the pc has restarted it uh, take update uh, updates right uh, so it's resuming after the restarting so after successful we have installed the unix management and in management and identity management for unix close the console now go to nfs server for nfs select the properties type here your active directory asha.com here my asha.com apply click exit no need to have go to active directory users and computers users create one group name can be anything go select the group go select dot com select zero press ok go to administrator properties unix attribute select the domain and give uh, uid is zero and select the primary unix group in the bottom the, it should be primary group unix group only click apply and ok go to c drive or any drive which you want to share uh, and create two folders name can be anything but you have to give exact names in the uh, VSPR client in the adding learn add, add some test files I am created NSF2 after the share go to manage in a sharing manage NFS sharing share this folder permissions are you done active click allow access so this learn can be accessed by any all the machines sharing manage NFS sharing share this folder permissions uh, okay okay 
so after getting refresh the folder will be changed to the share nfs sharing yes here you can see that sharing go to the vsp members center and select the host go to the configuration and storage adapter add storage device adapter press ok select the properties go to dynamic discovery and add the nfs address okay close press ok uh, after go to storage add learn add storage click nfs next here the folder uh, give the ip address of the nfs system and the exact folder name with case sensitive also so what exact name you have given at that time showing exact the name you should type here nfs2 nfs2 yeah we successfully added two folders nfs1 and nfs2 to the esxi1 here you can see the test files so in is is nothing but folder base or volume base sharing thanks for watching this